Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I am going to be doing a haul. So I wanted to order some new paper to make some new cash envelopes. The paper that I was using previously, I had ordered from Amazon UK, but ever since January, um, ordering from Amazon in the UK is a little bit more difficult to Ireland now. Because of Brexit, we have to pay um, customs and VAT and um, shipping has gone up a bit as well on some items. So it's just a bit more complicated to order from the UK. So I wanted to find new options to source some new paper and I found two shops. So I'm going to be going through um, the hauls, what I got, and then just a little bit about the shipping information in case you live in Europe and it's of interest to you. So the first um, haul that I did was from a shop called Papiria and Papiria are based in Germany. So um, my package arrived in this type of packaging. So a kind of sturdy cardboard package, I guess. So it's quite thin. Um, I've obviously opened it up and just blacked out my information, but this is how it arrived. So I'm just going to get rid of the packaging and show you what I ordered. So this is what I picked up from Papiria and I just have my receipt up to the side here, which has the prices, which I will go through. And then I'm going to talk about the shipping as well. So the first two things that I got, I can't actually use and um, completely my own fault. I made a mistake with these sizes when I was ordering. So I thought that I could put into the search option to filter down by size of eight inches by eight inches. And these showed up, but they're actually 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. I thought they were 10 inches by 10 inches, completely my own fault. I didn't double check before I ordered. They were a really good price. They were 239 each, which is fantastic. But I assumed that they were just on sale because they are Christmas themed. So I'll just show you very quickly. Anyway, this is the Paper Addicts Magic Moment. It's really cute. It's got these little kind of snowmen and polar bears and penguins. I thought that this was super cute and that it would make really, really nice envelopes for Christmas. Obviously, it's too small for me to use. I'm going to give it to my nephews instead, and I'm sure that they'll be able to do lots of fun arts and crafts with it. So 239, um, my own fault though, I just didn't check the size. So that was the first one. Next up, this is Paper Addicts again, and this is It's Cold Outside. And this again is really, really nice for Christmas. It's got stars, Christmas trees, little log cabins, and um, there's some reindeer there. Really, really nice. And again, I know that my nephews will love this and that they'll be able to do some fun crafts with this. So these two were 239 each, just the size is wrong for me, completely my own fault, as I said. Then this is the next pad that I picked up. So this is called Delicate Damask, and this is eight by eight, and there is 18 sheets in here. So it's really cute and elegant. I hope that that pattern is picking up on the camera um, really really nice soft elegant print i think that these will be absolutely lovely that's what the back looks like and it shows the different colors that are in there and this packet was 489 so 489 for 18 sheets so the next pad that i picked up is paper mania and this is called burlay blue so this has 32 sheets in it and it is eight by eight and this cost 688. So this is what the back page looks like. So I'm just actually gonna take it out of the plastic and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. So I've just taken it out of the plastic so I can show you um, a couple of the sheets on the inside and what they look like. So these are not double-sided, so they're white on the inside. I have no preference when I'm making cash envelopes if they are double-sided or not. This is gorgeous. I think that this is my favourite. Really, really pretty and elegant. I won't go through the whole pack, but um, yeah, I really, really like this print. Really, really beautiful. So that is the Berlay Blue Pack by Paper Mania. So the next one that I picked up is by Craft O'Clock and this is Turquoise Mood 
and this is again eight inches by eight inches and this is 18 double-sided papers and the cost of this one was 579 and again I'm just going to open it up and I will very quickly flick through the paper sheets. So I've just taken the plastic off and I'm just going to flick through some of the sheets and show you what they look like close up. So these ones are double sided, really, really love these colors and these prints. I think they're going to make a really, really nice set. So again, that was the Craft O'Clock 8x8 Turquoise Mood and it was 5.79. So that was everything that I got from Papiria. So in terms of shipping and delivery, I placed my order on the 22nd of March and it was delivered to me here in Ireland on the 29th of March, which is a week for shipping from Germany, which is great. Um, the shipping was 13 95 which is a bit pricey if you're ordering a couple of things I think that it works out okay but that's just something to bear in mind the other thing when ordering um, that I hadn't come across before on a website so I placed my order for everything and then you get an email to say that they will go check their inventory and confirm that everything that you want is in stock and once they've done that they will send you an invoice so everything that I wanted was in stock. They then sent an invoice and I had to pay either by bank transfer or by Revolut. Um, I couldn't see an option to pay by PayPal, for example, from Ireland. I think that if you're based in Germany, you can pay by PayPal, but I couldn't. So I just paid by Revolut and it was fine. I got instant confirmation that they had my payment. They sent shipping information. So really, really good. There was no problem with it. It's just something to note. So all in all, I'm really happy with everything that I got from Papiria except for the two things that I made the mistake on. But again, that's my fault, that's not their fault. And then they also included these really cute little bookmarks for free, they're super cute. So they sent five double-sided bookmarks, which I thought was a really, really nice touch. So that is my Papiria haul. Okay, next up I ordered from a shop called Craftilier and this packet is so big that it actually barely fits in the frame. But I did just want to show you the packaging. So it came in this really nice, um, sturdy cardboard. The tape, you can kind of see there, it does have a really, really nice print on it. Obviously, I had to rip that to get my package open. And then when you open it up, it's really, really well packaged inside as well. So I'm going to get rid of the box because it's so big and show you everything that I got. So this is the first item that I picked up from Craftilier. This is the Paper Boutique Perfect Partners Essentials um, paper pad. This is eight by eight inches again, and this is aqua and white, and there are 36 sheets in here with six different designs. So I'll just flick through and show you the inside as well. So really, really nice colors, and I really like the patterns. I think that these are going to make really, really gorgeous cash envelopes. I love this one especially, I think it's really cute. And this one's really cute as well. So that was seven euro and one cent. Next up is another paper boutique paper pad. Again, it's eight inches by eight inches and this is called Lavender Fields. And again, there is 36 sheets and six designs. And this one was also seven euro and one cent. So I love, love the print on these. I know that I'm saying that about all of it. I'm so excited to have a new paper. This is just gorgeous. It just reminds me of summer holidays when I was younger and going to France. Just really, really beautiful. This is just stunning. It's so elegant and I love, I just love these purple tones. So that is Lavender Fields by The Paper Boutique. So next up, I got this scrapbook paper and this is by a company called Scrap Mirror, I think. And um, everything is in I'm not sure what language, but there's no um, English language on this, so I'm not entirely too sure. But I thought that this print looked so cute for summer, so I'm just going to take it out of the plastic and show you the insides. So this is what it looks like once the plastic is taken off. So I love this print. I just think it's so cute. And this paper is double-sided, so this is the other side. Just really, really bright and colourful. I love this. I think it's just so cute. So that's the same 
Then we have this kind of floral print. And this cactus one again, like just how cute is this? This is gorgeous. And the pineapples. No drama llama. So that is a really, really cute set. Again, I think that that is just going to make the most adorable, poppy, bright, summer themed envelopes just really really gorgeous and I don't think I said the price they were 375 for this pack which I think is a really really good price and there was 10 sheets in there I think the last thing that I got as part of this haul was um from a brand called memory keepers and this is a three in one corner rounder so this is basically if you are for example making cash envelopes Sometimes the corners can be very, very sharp. And this is a little gadget that basically rounds off the corners. So that you see the way here, these corners are rounded so they don't hurt. That's what this does. I did have one that I got ages ago when I first started making my own envelopes, but it was never very good. And I have absolutely no idea where it is. So I figured I would just order a new one. And that was $6.99. So again, just to talk about shipping. So the shipping price was $5.95. I'm not sure if I said, but Craftelier is based in Spain. So the shipping was $5.95, which I think is an amazing price. And um, it's very, very reasonable. Shipping was really quick as well. I ordered on the 24th of March and it was delivered on the 1st of April to Ireland. So really, really happy with that. They gave me this super cute little Craftelier um, lollipop. And it also came with a really nice little kind of brochure or pamphlet about some other items that they stock. Their website is really, really nice, uh, really, really easy to use, loads of crafting stuff in stock. So if you are based in Europe and you're looking for crafting supplies, I highly recommend that you check out this site. I was really, really impressed with it. So that was my first haul from Craftelier. So I placed one more order from Craftelier. I've actually had to even take my camera out of its clamp just to try and get this big box in frame and it barely fits. But I did just want to show you the packaging. Again, it came really nicely in this brown cardboard packaging with the really, really nice tape on it. And I'm just going to get rid of the box and show you what I ordered in this haul. Okay, so this is the reason for the big box. This barely fits in frame either, but I did order a new paper trimmer from Craftelier. So I love the colors on this. I think it's gonna be much easier for me to use. It is by the Craftelier own brand. And those are the size dimensions if anybody is interested. And this cost 19 euro and 12 cent. And then the other thing that I got in this haul was I just got some replacement blades for it. I don't know how quickly these blades will run out, but I figured while I was placing the order, I would just pick these up at the same time. And they were 320. So again, just to talk about the shipping information. Um, so the shipping was 595 again. I think that that's a really good price. Um, it would have made more sense for me to do my hauls together, but I just wasn't really uh, thinking straight. But $5.95, I think, is really, really good to ship from Spain to Ireland. I placed my order on the 31st of March and it was delivered on the 9th of April. I got a little free lollipop again. I think they are so cute. And then included in my order again, I did get the other little brochure. And this is the same one that came in the previous order. Really, really cute. And then this time I also got this little card from them and it basically just had um, their hashtag that if you want to share this hashtag on your Instagram with a picture of your haul, you can get a free order. So yeah, really, really impressed with everything that I got. So that is everything that I picked up from Papyria and Craftelier. I'm so impressed with both of the shops. I'm really happy with all of my new paper and I can't wait to start making new envelopes. I would love to know which is your favorite paper that I picked up. Mine, I think, is definitely the Lavender Fields and the Summer Scrapbook paper is a close second, but I would love to know which paper you like best. Thank you so much for watching and I will chat to you in my next video.